In this demo video, I'm going to show you how you can use OneNote to create all of your course notes and share these notes with your students. Okay, so the first thing that I've done here, as you can see on the side, is I have 24 lecture notes. Okay, so in the class that I teach, which is a Physics 1 course, there are 24 lectures. So you can click on each one of these lectures. Okay, lecture one, lecture two, lecture three. And in each one of these on the side, you can see all of the different pages within each lecture. Okay, so for lecture four, for example, I start off with an agenda, and then I have each page within that lecture, which goes through all of the content that we're gonna discuss in the class. Okay, so you can go through all of them here. Now what I like to do in my course, since it's a problem solving course, is I pose problems, Students have access to these questions in advance and they, if they choose to, can print these out at home and bring them to lecture and use this to write down their solutions as we solve them together in class. Each of my lecture notes looks pretty similar except for the questions that are being changed. Sometimes if there's a lot of content, so for example, let's go to lecture 15, energy, it's a pretty content heavy lecture. I start off by describing the different types of energy and then I go into problems again. Okay, so I set up each page so that the size of each page is whatever the standard print size is. If you go to view paper size on the side, it's a, as a letter. Okay, so for us that's just an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. That's our regular size. Now, depending on where you are, you may have a different standard size. So. What's nice about this, using OneNote, is that I can share all of the notes that I've made here with my students. All I do is I right click here and I click on share this notebook. And I go to get a sharing link. I take that link and I copy and paste it into the LMS that I'm using. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I use it. So this is the Blackboard course. I make a tab on the side that says lecture notes. And here I have two different links. One says lecture notes blank and the other one filled. So if you click on lecture notes blank, I've inserted that link, that sharing link. So I can scroll down and see all of the notes here. Students have access to all of these notes. They don't need to have one note. This is one note online. Okay, so it's quite nice. They're able to see everything right here. So I can go to any lecture, for example, that same energy lecture that I was working on and students can scroll through everything that was here and they can print everything off as well. So this is where they're getting their lecture notes. They can click on print, print this off in advance of lecture. What's really handy about OneNote is that anytime I make any changes to my file over here, it automatically syncs with what the students see. So I don't need to make a copy or save this and repost it, it would automatically sync here. So what I do in each class, right now I just finished 15 lectures, so I'm at lecture 15. So tomorrow's class I'm going to go over lecture 16, which is work. So you can see I also have another notebook. So I have two notebooks here for this one course. One is the blank notes that I've created and one has my annotations or my solutions, which I write on the screen with a digital pen during lecture. So immediately before each lecture, so let's say I'm about to teach lecture 16 work, what I do is I take this lecture note and I copy it. So I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it into my Physics 1 Winter Solutions notebook. Okay, so I'm going to copy it in there. And now you can see that it just appeared at the bottom of the slide. So remember that I said that I made everything with a paper size that was letter size so that the students are able to print it and they won't have any issues printing it on the regular piece of paper that they normally use. So now if I'm going to use these lecture notes in a classroom setting, what I would do first is change all of the sizes to be auto, especially for the pages that have any sort of problem solving questions that are on the page. So for this page, my agenda, I don't need to change the size of it because I'm not going to write on this page in lecture. Okay, this page as well, it just has some notes for the students to read. 
okay but here I get to these problems okay so for any pages that have problems in them I like to change the size of my page from letter size to auto so I'm going to do that for all these pages that have any problems in them and what that does you can see is that it extends the page to be infinitely long to the right and also down so I don't run out of space when I'm working on the problems Okay, so now let's say I just began my class. So what I like to do is just full screen this. So it almost looks like it would be a PowerPoint. And I make this a little bit larger so everyone can see. And I go over my agenda. I can hit control page down to get to the next page. Okay, I can make it larger. And I don't read my notes word for word or anything, but I like to have these notes here so that students can review them after class. And then I introduce the problems. So I start with the first problem and now while I introduce the problem I have my digital pen in my hand, I read out the question to the students and then I start solving the problem with their input. So I would begin by drawing a picture of what's happening. This dot represents my suitcase. There's a strap that's inclined at a 45 degree angle above the horizontal pulling the suitcase 100 meters through the airport. The tension in the strap is 20 newtons. So this is my tension is equal to 20 newtons and so on and so forth. And I go ahead and solve the problem. Okay, so I solve it all here on the page. Now what's nice is that I also give my students access to the solution notebook. So if I leave this here, I can show on the right again just to review I can right click here go to share this notebook get a sharing link and get this view link because I don't want my students to be able to edit this at all so I copy this view link and I paste it into our LMS so we use blackboard I'll go back into blackboard and show you what this would look like so that's this tab over here this link is my lecture notes filled so if I click on that over there the students are able to see what I'm writing down in almost real time. So if I go down to that lecture 16 that I was just working on, you can see the solution that I just wrote. Okay, but what's nice about this is while you're writing solutions, your students can see what you are writing on their own screen. So if your class is really large, people that are sitting far away from the screen at the front of the class are still able to look at their own computer screens and see the solutions. What's also nice is that if I move on to another question, because we've all solved the problem together and I'm now on question two, what will happen is I'm going to scroll to question two and I'll start solving this one. And question one is no longer visible on the screen in front of the class. But because students still have their laptops in front of them, they would be able to see the solution to number one still. So they can still see whatever is there. And when they go home, they can still see all the solutions as well. Okay, so what are some of the benefits of teaching with OneNote? For one, you can see that all your lecture material can be organized in one place. So students don't need to click on individual links in your LMS to find a presentation file for each of the lectures. It's all here. They can just scroll through one lecture at a time, and so can you. Another benefit is that you can write on your screen seamlessly. So digital pens work very nicely with OneNote. Unlike working with other software where sometimes you can see that the writing that you put on the screen will be jumpy, with OneNote it's very seamless. The other benefit is that everything is automatically saved in the cloud. It can be accessed anytime, anywhere. So students can access this no matter where they are as long as they have access to the internet. They can see your annotations in almost in real time. Students can open the lecture slides in OneNote and make their own annotations. So here we are in OneNote online. They can click here where it says open in OneNote and that adds this file into their own OneNote folder so that now they have a notebook where they're able to add their own annotations. Yeah. So I hope this demonstration showed you how powerful OneNote can be if you use it in a classroom setting. Thanks for watching.